Hi. <laughs> I know. I know. They always save the best for last, don't they? <laughs> and of course, that would be moi. Me. Me. <laughs> Hi, my name's Ashley, and I will be your final bikini girl for this edition of Bikini Classroom. You've gotten this far, so you're nearing the end of the course, and it's going to be my pleasure to show you just a few more tips and tricks for using your Windows XP. So come on, let's get started. <laughs> To save the hard drive space, you can compress folders and their contents. Right click the folder and select Properties. Select the General tab. Then click the Advanced Attributes button. Select the option that says Compress Contents to Save Disk Space. Click OK. and then click Apply. Windows will then ask you if you'd like these changes to apply to this folder, subfolders, and files, or just the currently open folder. Select the option you'd like and click OK. To help you identify compressed files and folders, open up Control Panel. Click Appearance and Themes. Select Folder Options. Then select the option that says Show Encrypted or Compress NTFS Files in Color. Please note that your hard drive must be in NTFS format for this option to work. Now click Apply and then click OK. Encrypted or compressed folders names will be in blue. If you'd like to compress multiple files to a single file for emailing or archiving purposes, first highlight the files and then right click over them. From the shortcut menu, highlight Send To and then select Compressed Zip Folder. Windows creates a compressed file and names it after the first file in your selection. If you don't like seeing the Common Tasks panel, you can remove it. Go to Control Panel, select Appearance and Themes, click Folder Options, select the General tab. In the task area, select Use Windows Classic Folders. Windows will no longer show the Common Tasks panel for an open window. If you have a toolbar or two, that you feel is cluttering up your window, you can remove them by clicking View from the main menu. Now highlight the toolbars and then uncheck the ones you'd like to remove. To get the most from any folder, you should customize its settings to coordinate with its contents. Right click the folder and select Properties. Select the Customize tab. From this pull-down menu, select the description that best suits this folder.
Now click Apply. Now click OK. To view Start Menu links such as My Documents folder as a menu, right click on the Start button and select Properties. Click the Start Menu tab and then click the Customize button. Select the Advanced tab. Find the options for My Documents. And then select the option that says Display as a Menu. Now click OK. Then click Apply. Now whenever you highlight My Documents in the Start menu, you will see a menu list of the My Documents folder's contents. To remove a link from the Links toolbar, right-click over the link and select Delete from the shortcut menu. To launch applications from the taskbar, right-click on the taskbar and make sure the toolbars are unlocked. Now highlight toolbars from the shortcut menu. Select Address. You'll now see a button on your taskbar titled Address. Double-click it and then enter the name of the file you'd like to run. You can now lock the toolbars in place again, and your address bar will remain open. <laughs> hey there, you did it! Good job! <laughs> you finished another edition of Bikini Classrooms for Windows XP. We definitely want to see you again, so be sure to look for some more upcoming Bikini Classroom titles. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>